This video is actually going to be twofold. One, I want to talk about the clickbaity title that I had there. And I'm going to talk about that immediately because I don't want you guys to think I'm clickbaity. The only thing better than a de atomizer strike, my friends, is a bro atomizer strike. A bro atomizer strike, guys, where you and your friend both go off, both get a de atomizer strike in the same lobby, the same game. And uh, it's a great time, guys, great time. And that's what you're gonna see here with my buddy Jimmy Dean, my brother from another mother. Uh, Jimmy Dean, I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description below. One of, one of the coolest homies out there. I really, really like playing with this guy. Although, I mean, I got lots of people I like playing with as well. I mean, the Saken, lots of the YouTubers, Ace, obviously. And I could go on and on, but this is actually what I'm running with Jimmy. So, uh, shout out to Jimmy uh, this time, so. Yeah, bro, Atomizer Strike, man, we absolutely go off in this gameplay. I get the D at first, then he gets his, and um, yeah, well, you're just going to see. It is what it is, so I think you're going to enjoy the gameplay, so enjoy that. And also, the second part of this video, I pretty much just want to talk about the new Call of Duty, some things that, that are on my mind, and um, probably on your mind as well. And let's just uh, break down a few things. I mean, we all just recently saw the multiplayer reveal at E3. There's lots of lots of potential here with this new game okay um, but like anything else man when you have lots of potential on the good end there's also bad potential on the bad end things could go wrong or they could put things in the game that don't necessarily work well we're going to talk about this new create a class or excuse me create a class replacement system that they're using divisions a little bit i really don't know what to think about that but i really don't want to get ahead of myself guys let's just break it down let's talk about the things that i like so far from what I've seen, which admittedly isn't a lot, okay? So obviously whatever I say, we're gonna have to take with a grain of salt because all we saw was them playing on a LAN connection. Um, we, have, we, we don't know how many issues are gonna be there on launch. We don't know anything. All we can say is what we've seen about the game so far, what we've seen so far. So let's just take it from there. Now, first off, let's talk about the graphics. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I think the graphics are just amazing. And when I say amazing, I'm not saying like, you know, the most clear resolution, uh, battle better than Battlefield type of graphics. It's not really what I'm saying. I guess what I mean also in graphics is the gore part of it. This Call of Duty looks a lot more gory than, than others that I've seen in the past. A good example of that, and I'm sure you could find it if you search for it, but there is a, a clip of a soldier get hit in the back of the head with a melee shovel. And the shovel, you can actually see it pierce the enemy's helmet and go through to his head and then blood spurts out. I mean, it, there's, I don't know about you guys, tell me if I'm wrong here, but I noticed a lot of cases where it just looks like it's gonna be more gory. And on the zombies ends, if you guys are a zombies fan, it seems like the zombie is going to be kind of scary, like a little jump, jump scare type of style to it, which I think is, is good. I really think that Call of Duty is an adult's game. I'm sorry, kids. I mean, great. I, I love for kids to be able to play too, but honestly, man, it, it is an adult-themed game. So I really think that that's moving in the right direction, okay? Another thing that I thought was really intriguing, guys, is the headquarters. How cool does that look? I mean, I think that's great that you have like a community where you can talk to people, where you can show off um, your customization of your character. 
where I guess they have like a certain area that only people that prestige, I guess, can go to. So uh, I hope we don't, no one gets any butt hurt. <laughs> you know, you see all the, you see all the cool prestige kids uh, in the corner getting a special area of headquarters. I really don't know what the perks are to that or not. I just remember hearing, um, I think it was Michael Condry talk about it or something in an interview that there's going to be a special area for prestige. I think that's pretty cool. Um, also, the firing range. Now, I know they um, had, a, I think it was Advanced Warfare, right? They did have a firing range, but I think that's a great idea. I really think every single Call of Duty could take a page out of Sledgehammer's book and have a, fi a firing range. I don't know why you're not. You know, I mean, a great place where you can test out, see, see, see um, how a gun operates, how it looks, and how it feels, how fast the fire rate is. I think these things are important. And the fact that you can actually compete with people on a firing range adds another cool dynamic, you know. Uh, moving along, um, and I got to kind of hurry here because here we are already in the middle of the gameplay. I'm gonna, we're going to start going ham. We're going to see some good gameplay. But let's talk about score streaks. I think those looked amazing. I like how there's a lot of nice, controllable score streaks. I know Jimmy Dean and, the, and uh, Sekin Mandaraj and the Camper Nation guys are going to love that fact. I think controllable score streaks is where it's at for them. Uh, my only concern is I want there to be an advanced UAV. Now, I think when IW came out, it's beta. I don't think advanced UAV was one of the options in the beta. Um, but in any case, I could be wrong there. Don't quote me on that, but I'm really concerned about that. Obviously, they have a UAV, uh, something, some sort of recon plane or something like that. So they really need an advanced recon plane. I believe if you want to keep um, Call of Duty kind of where it's at, you know what I mean? Because I pretty much every Call of Duty has some sort of advanced UAV hate or VSAT thing going on. Obviously, it's one of the perks I love to use, so I'm, I'm concerned about that. Um, one one thing, the movement looked fast-paced. Now, all I have to go on is what I see, you know, I, I've watched my buddy Tabor Hill's videos, you know, the things Drifter put up, Chaos Silencer, all those guys that got to go out there, got flown out there, got to try the game. I watch all their videos. The movement looks good. Um, but honestly, that's something that I'm not going to know until I just get my hands on it, you know. But there are a couple concerns, guys. Uh, take, for instance, the mini map. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the mini map looks super small, my friends. And when you have a small mini map, your awareness goes down. When your awareness goes down, your ability, your survivability lowers. And obviously, that's a concern. I'm the type of guy, I like to go on long streaks. I just hope that the game's balanced in that because it looked to me like no one was, obviously they just played the game for the first time out there. They're not gonna be very good at it, right? But no one was staying alive for very long. And it seemed to come down to a little bit of awareness. I was always trying to look at the mini map, see what decisions I would make if I were playing the game real time alongside them. And I had a hard time keeping up and seeing what was going on in the mini map. Let me know if you guys we're feeling the same thing, but the mini map is a concern for me. Also, you know what else is a concern? The whole idea that the create a class system uh, is gone. I, man, I'm sorry, but ever since I've been playing Call of Duty, you can create your own class, and that's a concern for me that you're changing it up. Now, you can still win me over. There's still time to, um, you know, to, to win me over and, and pull me over to the dark side, but obviously, I gotta put that down as a concern, and, um, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't know enough about the game. I, most of these things, guys, honestly, we're just going to have to get our hands on the game and, and see for ourselves. But um, this next one is lack of optics. Now, I did see where they one of the guns did have some sort of red dot. I don't know if it was a red dot, but some sort of dot optic. I really hope that's an option for other guns. Um, some of the iron sights looked kind of hardcore. Obviously, the technology wasn't that great back then, World War II. However... I'm still hoping that um, that there's a there's some optic options there. That's kind of a concern for me. I mean, I, I can make do with iron sights. I'm just saying I would rather not to. Um, so, yeah, you know. And with that being said, um, I, 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 my other concern is that you know the lack of technology at the time limits some of the options that we're going to have in the game. Now, so far, it looks like the score streaks um, are well. You know, I, I think I think they're. They're on the right track for sure. Now, obviously, we're just going to have to see what the game feels like when it comes out. Is there going to be any lag? Um, are the guns going to be balanced? Uh, what's the time to kill going to be like, right? I mean, I really need to get my hands on and, and play a little bit with that mini map and see. And you know what? What we saw at E3 could totally be changed by the time the beta even comes around. And even with the beta, could be different from what's released you know when um it actually comes out in november so 
you know, I don't know. I, some things that were on my mind, guys. I figured I'd share with you guys, like all Call of Duty channels do. They've all been doing this. I figured, you know what? And for the sake of doing different types of videos, I was like, you know, I'll branch out a little bit and share my thoughts too. And why not drop the bro atomizer with my boy Jimmy Dean while I do it? You know, so as you can see, we just both dropped nukes. I'm actually going ham. I'm not very far away from actually dropping a double nuke. In fact, if the other team didn't tap out and quit, see there was a guy that quit right there, just disappeared off the minimap. If they didn't tap out and quit, very likely could have gotten a double deatomizer. That would have been dope. Also, I think it's important to note, not important, but noteworthy that uh, a few games later, Jimmy Dean and I almost dropped another bro atomizer. The only problem is he called his in first, right? Well, you know how the screen slows down a little bit as the nuke is going off? A guy came around the corner right then and there and laid me down. He never would have killed me had he not had that advantage of, of surprise and just having his optic sight aimed at the right place at the right time. And I died like two off of my uh, deatomizer strike and we had the advanced UAV. So sorry, Jim and Dean. Otherwise, we could have had a double-double. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Um, you see your boy there on the winner's circle. Jimmy Dean went ham. Jimmy Dean actually had more kills than me, but somehow I got more points. It's all good in the hood. Uh, very, very good game. I think it's fun to watch. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new Call of Duty World War II and what your concerns and what you like. And uh, on that note, guys, your friend Armlocks is out.